What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Just hit 38 trophies and then Spider-Man. <laughs> I feel like if that was our goal, we'd probably never play Spider-Man again. It'd be real sad. I don't think there's enough time in the day to get 37 trophies. Like, this has to be this has to be multiple people, multiple people right? Because, like, the cube went up on Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's been up for 14 days. Oh, look, it's reminding me of my miserable defeat. 14 days into 37 is almost three a day. And like, if you take off any number of days, like it's just, it doesn't seem sustainable. I feel like it's opposition here. Opposition's really strong, and it's it's a nice card to build around. Alternatively, I do like. Alternatively, I do like Warren Power Stone. <laughs> One more draft for the cheddar cheese children. I'm gonna take opposition. Maybe we brain freeze. You guys said Spellseeker and Twisty Boy? What if we just storm? What if our last draft of the day today is storm? Hmm. I do think it's elf. I do think it's elf. I'm elfing. Oh, another elf. And a time warp and a course of portal. Sheldock Isle and a metamorph. It's pretty good. Pack's actually really sweet. Elf. <laughs> Skip, you can't just keep saying elf. Oh, God. I, I think it's actually Portal over Elf. Time warp is good. Warp. Time warp is good. It might be Metamorph, too. I like Metamorph. I'm cutting green, though, by taking this. Ugh, that was not an easy pick. All right, we're going to Acidic Slime here. This is a card I... I mean, like, we, we saw the problem with not having this kind of effect. All right. I'm just really, I'm, I'm like really apprehensive right now. It's really weird because the last three drafts went so poorly that like, I almost feel like I'm like, I'm fundamentally questioning all of my picks. I feel like I'm like, is this a right pick? Like, is this any good? Like, am I just, uh, but it's only today, right? Like I've done fine previously. Like I think yesterday was like 302121, which is fine. And today's like 031212. So. Popcorn. <laughs> Just fine. We're going to be just fine. Just fine. Yeah, it's it's 100% the swings of Vintage Cube, for sure. Oh, Garrick Wildspeaker. Also, for sure. It really does. Like, it makes me question my entire drafting ability. I'm like, maybe I'm just terrible at this format. Okay, we're going to pass that. We're taking Thieving Skydiver. I think Skydiver is really good. Um, additionally, when we pass things like Course of Portal, it makes me feel significantly better. Because Skydiver just takes them. Ugin! Ugin is a nice payoff for this deck. Love it. Also, Skydiver is just another creature we can play to tap with Opposition. This is actually... I'm, I'm liking these picks so far.
thank you. I don't think we're birthing potting here, but there's nothing else here. T. Ravis, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. I'm going to take Birthing Pot. It's relatively early. We might be able to actually do something with it. All right, I'll take Prime Speaker. Now we have two Birthing Pots. Sower of Temptation came back. Sure. I need, the, I need them Trops and them Breeding Pools, boys. <laughs> Course of portal tabled? What? That's that's super sus, dude. What in the earth? That's weird. Actually, Sower is kind of sweet with Pod. You just sack there, dude. It's nice. Eternal Witness. Still no power. That's how we roll. Yeah, I think it's just Ewit here. There's nothing humongous. Mana Leak and, and Charter Course are not really where we want to be. Yeah, Ewit's also a 3-drop, which is nice because it lets us pod into Sower if we really want to. We do also have Prime Speaker, which is also a birthing pod. Packs are terrible. It's just Signet? Ugh. Remyonac Excavator doesn't do anything for us. This pack is really bad. Signet's got to be better than Chalice, right? I don't know if it's Regrowth when we just took Eternal Witness. Like, I don't need, I don't think we need two of that effect. And I'd actually much rather have early Signets. Eh, Oracle of Moldiah. Okay, we were going to take Gargaroth, but Oracle's just <laughs> really good. A little heavy in the... I don't think we've seen... I've seen Vanifar get cast in this cube. Buddy, you and me both. Man, Chrome Mox would be nice, but I'd rather have Mox Emerald. Uh, I meant Mox Diamond, but Mox Emerald is obviously the better choice. I think we're just taking Fraley's here. No, Chrome Mox is... I don't like Chrome Mox at all. If it was Mox Diamond, I would for sure take it, but... As a as a Chrome Mox, I don't, I don't like Chrome Mox having to discard an actual spell. I'm going to take... So now we have Rexage... This pack's pretty bad. I guess we'll just take Survival. Blech. I don't love Survival. How's this drying up? We like literally passed no green in game pack one. Hey, Hermit's pretty good. Oh, Hermit Opposition is ex actually exactly what we're looking for here. Jeez. Yeah, I'm actually kind of considering Birthing Pod now. Oh, Primus? That's... That's juicy. I mean, I just love Woodfall Primus. Not not saying it particularly combos with Birthing Pod is, is, or anything, but... Try to course might be... Actually, Walking Ballista is probably the pick. Like, we have... If we get, like, Channel or something, and Walking Ballista is just a pretty versatile guy. Remind us to take a snapshot of this deck.
Yeah, if we can open Ancestral and get past Mox Emerald, I think we're in good shape. I would also take a... Uh, that Soul Ring card. You know that one? It's like one mana, it adds two. You tap it for two. I think that one's alright, too. Hey, Regrowth came back. Sure. Kitchen Finks is actually great with Pod. Wow. I've heard of that card. Yeah, I think I think it's been I think it's pretty popular. I'm just gonna take Niv. Sure. <laughs> Channel seems great. We already have Ugin. Um, I'm gonna take Channel over Crater Hoof here. Because I think the upside is higher. Yeah, honestly, Crater Hoof might table. <laughs> Blightsteel might table. Simic Signet might table. Ponder might table. I mean, it's gotta be Channel. Channel just wins you the game on turn two. If also we have a lot of a lot of options to hit like Emrakul, Ulmog, or Kozilek. Through the breach. Are we an upheaval deck? <sighs> Not really. We have two Elvish Mystics and a Channel and a Signet. Upheaval might even come back. We also have Garrick. Jeez. I think it's actually Devoted Drew. We don't have a ton. Yeah, we don't have a ton of two drops here. It's got to be Breeding Pool. I love Sylvan Carry added, but we don't have a single dual land, and Breeding Pool is actually perfect for us right now. Yeah. See, this is a chance. This is like, this is a situation where I don't even care about Nature's Claim because we already have Rex Age. Uh. Fraley's and Acidic Slime and Woodfall Primus so it's like we have a lot of funny she doesn't look Druish a Druish princess I think we just take Courser here and Noble Hierarch Noble Hierarch is nice so is Muldrifter yeah we're just taking the Noble <laughs> it's not super close um Nissa is pretty sweet I think this is probably better than Cultivate. Hmm. Definitely going to make some cuts here. Monolith is good with Channel. You can go turn two, Channel, uh, pay three Monolith. Oh three, right? Well, probably, probably. I think Kitchen Finks is the weakest link at the three spot. Don't think we need a regrowth when we have the other guy. Pelucranos, also Trigon Predator. I think it's probably Pelucranos here. Remand. Don't love Remand. Stone Cold Serpent, also fine with the channel. Just make it like 10-10. Yeah, I don't think we're a uh, a Remand deck. I think we have like one more pack to see like a big fat Eldrazi. I mean, we still have Opposition, like... Deranged Tournament and things like that. Uh, wow. Splinter Twin came back. Just gonna take Knight of Autumn here. Nothing else is good here. Through the Breach. Sure. I think this is the deck. 16 lands. Gilded Goose. Hmm. Okay. Goose it up. 
I mean, we have Ugin, Stone Coil, and Course of Portal for Channel on 2. Also, Walking Ballista is an option. Make that a 10 10. Can't do that. Probably going to make it a 7 7. I don't even know if that's safe. I also don't think we saw a single Eldrazi. I don't think I passed an Emrakul, an Ulamog, or a Kozilek. Uh, Nature's Claim, sure. It's the only playable card. Oh, Terastodon came back. Interesting. Actually, eh. Is it Nykthos? It might be Nykthos. Nah, we'll just take Terastodon. Thank you! Like, I didn't see a situation where we want uh, colorless mana. And if we had, like, more... If we had more pips, like, we don't have a Rafelos. So, like, we have to have, like, a Llanowar Elf and a, and one of these two drops... These three drops with double pips. Winmore.com. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. So this is 23. We take Char out. Birthing Pod can go there. You're, like, a two drop, kind of. Um, Terastodon was a no, and also we took we. I think we just I think we can actually take the goose out. Um, no, it's probably gonna be six eleven. Probably seven. Yeah, I think this is better. All we need is like one green in the opening hand, so it's a lot of blue, but I don't think we play Vanifar. I don't think she's very... I think she's a little slow. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah, this all seems fine. 16 land seems fine. We have three one-drops, a, a devoted druid, and a Celestia Signet. This is the... Oh, 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 hold on. Let's take a screenshot... So that we don't uh, forget what we have to pot into. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Um, slow but fine. We could also draw one drop, which would be super, super ballin'. Our opponent's name is Tuxedo Rose, which is actually a pretty sweet name. Ooh, do you take Birthing Pot or Rex Age here? Rex Age. Ooh, ooh boy. Ooh, -wee. Slow but fine. That's how the doctor described me to my mother. <laughs> well, he's slow but fine. He'll be all right. I kind of just want Signet here because let's just play Oracle next turn. We, we playing Pod on an empty board and taking two to, to do it is not really where you want to be. They only have two cards left. Let's play this. If they don't have a, a removal spell, if they don't have a counter for it, it's unlikely they can get rid of it. Unless they go Vindicate. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. The number of times that has happened in this cube is pretty wild. Okie dokie. We are going to opposition. Uh, I'll say Carnage this time. <laughs> Okay. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Oh, 
Oh boy. Interesting. Put you first, see what we get. Homage. Okay. Nah. <sighs> Never don't have it. <laughs> oh, that's not necessarily the worst. Except they do have Caracas. Caracas. Okay, that was nice. Oh, wow. Thieving Skydiver off the top is also super nice. You're going to path this guy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just do it. They only have two cards. I guess they're drawing two a turn. Bouncy Renser. There it is. They just can't do anything though, right? Like, now you're voting Carnage? No, we're gonna vote Omash still. You can have your cards. That's a big boy. I don't want no scrubs. Scrum is a guy who can get no lo Oh, we just won the game. Okay. That's fascinating. <laughs> I guess they know we have opposition and they're just like, I can't just I can't just keep up five mana every turn. Sitting on the passenger side of his best friend's track, trying to holler at I mean I think they knew they knew we have op they knew Pure Ghost, so I don't know if you saw, but they knew we had opposition. So they just had to keep bouncing it with Venser every turn. It's just not uh, really sustainable. Yeah, I'll just admit here. I think our deck is pretty sweet. He says that every time. I win, and we try to sideboard, and I'm like, I think my deck's pretty sweet. I'll keep this. Skydiver could be good against if they have a Mox. And any if, a, if we had a green source off the top... That's kind of like a green source off the top. That is a green source off the top. That's also a Garrick next turn, which is pretty good. I think this deck is pretty sweet. One, two. <laughs> what? Really? You wouldn't pay four to kill my Garrick? That's fairly interesting. Hmm. Is Mana Drain still in this cube? I literally don't think I've seen it once. Play a bunch of small dudes, I guess. That's funny. OK, 
Okay, well, they didn't keep up double blue, so I think we're off manager and I think they might have just made a bad play. Is that the game? Okay. All right. Opposition's a hell of a card, guys. Wow. That was a weird game. Scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Sitting on the passenger side of my friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. This hand is pretty bad. What's so special about opposition? Uh, definitely keep this hand. Hmm. Uh, basic swamps. I'm not sure. I, I wasn't sure if you being serious. Um, opposition also lets you tap down your opponent's lands. So uh, during their upkeep, you can literally just tap five of your creatures, tap down all their lands, and they just never get to do anything again. Guys, are really hoping we draw. Ugin. Dang it, Ugin. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a soft lock unless they have like an instant speed thing that they can cast. It just makes the game very miserable. Like even if you tap down like two lands a turn, it's still very very good for you. Yeah, like I actually would have uh, pitched a land had I known I was going to draw two in a row. Two in a row. Just keep getting them. This is where they go Fiery Confluence. We take four, they kill all our guys. That is not what happened. Fascinating. Okay, these these draws are fucking trash. <laughs> trash draws every day. Our opponent's not playing creatures and we haven't drawn anything. We don't have an Ulmog, we do have an Ugin and a Walking Ballista. And a Stone Cold Serpent, which is kind of like Ulmog Light. It's not Ulmog at all. You can kill this guy? You got six cards, you haven't played anything. What's going on right now? The fun thing about drawing all lands is that there's always more lands you can draw. Ulamog little duders. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means, but it's very funny. I was like, hey, what'd you get? It didn't show me. I'm be like, it, it glitched out. It didn't show me what you got. Oh, I'm just going to steal that guy. Hot blooded chicken at sea. I got cheeseburgers. They're just for me. This is actually lethal next turn if they don't have an answer to Garrick and so are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, this is 16 damage. It's kind of funny. I, mean, I know they're going to have something with 5 cards, but...
What's my favorite card spoiled so far? Christopher, I may have gone over this in my most recent Cool Stuff article. Actually, I talked about some of the cube cards that I think are pretty sweet from that set. My favorite card spoiled so far, though? I literally... I, it actually literally... Oh, here we go. It literally might be the 10-10 uh, the for 10 that cascades like four times. <laughs> what if we can't read? You're right. That was insensitive of me. Oh, wow. They just literally got rid of our channel. So they have one, two, three, four mana. That's not tremendous. What's your favorite spoiled milk? Oh, now they have... Here we go. I do not see a storm count yet. This is only storm count five? Okay. I mean, if we untap with Sower intact, we win. Oh, Stormcat says five. Sorry, guys. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ah. <sighs> Jesus, the number of times we've gotten Storm today is fucking exhausting. I'm really tired of w wishing Storm players good luck. I don't feel like it's in my best interest, and I don't feel like they deserve it. Okay. <sighs> God. I'd give my fucking left nut if they could just never if they could not have it one time. Yeah, cool. This is a really fun cube experience, as always. <laughs> Have you considered playing mountains? They stop storms from reaching inland. That's actually hilarious. Fun game. Fun game. I had a good time. Cause I had a good time. So i out loud. Oh god. Hope you had fun jerking off in the game. Play by yourself. Why join the cube? Just play. When he starts off, just draw the deck. That's a good idea. We also didn't see a single artifact. Claim is nice, but, like, we didn't see a single artifact or enchantment. Like, so, you know, when we already have Rexage, 
acidic slime and the other dude i really don't want to play a claim as well like a, a, a third card a fourth card when the first three didn't even have targets Oh yeah, they had Thousand Year Storm, sure. I'm gonna channel and make a 16-16. So that way they can't incinerate us. Nah, I'd probably just make an 11-11. Okay. Something good. I might just make a 5-5 five five next turn if we uh, don't draw anything. Okay. It's a four-turn clock. Basically Pelucranos. Let's hit an acidic slime. Yeah, I had a feeling this was going to be... I was like, maybe they're just going to kill us this turn. time watching my opponent here comes a wheel of fortune nope it's gonna be a pyretic ritual and like seething song oh cabal ritual for okay mm -hmm. oh good they messed up <laughs> cool yep Man, poor Storm player. Oh, cool, another land. One, two, three spells. One, two, three, four, seven lands. One of the spells is a uh, creature. Yep, so it doesn't matter. You just get to try again. I literally have no pressure whatsoever, <laughs> despite having 16 lands. <laughs> Good times. Yep. So they already used Yogmoth Soil? Are they just playing Thousand Year Storm here? Oh wow, Wheel of Fortune? When my hand was terrible? Interesting. I'm literally just I'm just scrolling through Twitter while our opponent masturbates. It's fucking hilarious and so frustrating, dude. Like it's just wasting my time, dude. Do you ever draft Storm or do you have Honor? I have Honor. 
I don't know. It's it's really funny because like I know the pros, like I know Luis and stuff. They all love Storm, but like from both a, a, a like a like a streamer and a player perspective who is not playing Storm, it's just absolutely fucking miserable, dude. Uh, Tendrils is in the graveyard, and you can brainstorm me, I guess. Twenty one, and then we have two cards left. Sure. This is like the worst hand yet. It's just hilarious. Actually, now it's significantly better. Um, huh. So we have one, two, three. We have four colored mana outside of channel. Like, the problem is, I don't even think we need Course of Portal here, and I'd rather not... I'd rather not go to, like, 14 when Tendrils is one of their win cards, or 12, rather. So, I'm actually just going to pass here. Like, we have the win on board. Cassius, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Two years. Good times, dude. Yep, here we go. Let's try it for a third time. <sighs> Like, they spent seven more minutes than we have in this match. Just, like, seven minutes of sitting here doing nothing. Yep. I didn't play when Storm came out, and I stay away from Vintage Cubes, so I guess I shouldn't talk, but it always seems crappy and boring to watch. Well, that's the thing. You don't actually have to play it. Like, if you're a, if you're a spectator and you're watching and it still seems miserable, like, that's literally a perfectly valid experience. I'm just so bored, dude. I just want to play my final round and, like, go pick up my my video card. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Like, this is not even enjoyable. Right, that's the problem. The problem is the opponent may or may not win, right? Like, I don't mind infinite combos. Like, if you're going to play Splinter Twin and you go, like, Deceiver X Arc Splinter Twin, I'm like, okay, it sucks. But I, I lose immediately. And it's two cards, right? I'm, okay, I lost. Let's go to the next game. I don't have to waste my time. Oh, Cassius, Spider-Man's probably going to be postponed until tomorrow, actually, because I just did drafts today, so. Yep. Cool. Just, just keep on, keep on doing your own thing here. And that's the problem, like like I was saying, like that's the problem with Storm, where like I just can't concede because they may whiff, they may lose, they may not have the card, like any of those things could be, you know, a factor. So it's like Like the experience I'm having right now and the one I have every single time I have to play against Storm is the exact reason I don't have it in my cube. It's just fucking miserable. literally 10 minutes to do this bullshit like do you guys know how long 10 minutes is like 
It's 5.10. Make a mental note and then look at the clock again when it's 5.20. That's how long 10 minutes is. It's a very long time if you just sit there and do nothing. Well, infinite mana doesn't necessarily mean they have it. Like, they have to have something to do with infinite mana. Just win the game. Cool. I, I don't understand, but all right. Your pain through this grueling 10 minutes has actually been enough for me. Like, this is what I mean. Like, we just, how did we win that game? I don't know, but I had to sit there and deal with it, right? Like, oh, God. It's so ironic. Like, I, I don't even care about the victory. My time is just more, I want to have a game where we're both doing stuff, and it's just kind of like, my time is more valuable, you know? Like, it's just silly. This hand is terrible. Wow, this is actually worse. Fucking amazing. Go to five. Keep five. I don't need both of these, but I guess I gotta, gotta get rid of at least one of them. Let's get rid of Serpent. I think land. Channel off the top would be phenomenal, right? It was, but it was not a channel off the top. Yeah, I mean, I'll still take a turn three Ugin. Shoot the Baral. Sure. Let's do that. I don't see it happening, but... Go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. I should. Interesting. I want to destroy this, but then she just dies. Hell, just go to Best Buy. You're probably good. <laughs> you might be right. One, two, three, four, five.
Here we go. Yep, sure. Oh, wow, they did nothing that turn. Hmm. One, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, we're just going to play a bunch of mana this turn. Hope they can't kill us. Tell him you have a, I have crater hoof in hand. Oh, good. We're past in flamesing. Are we gonna wheel of fortune? No, we're gonna frantic search first. There it is. Also, I do like the Kitchen Finks makes it so they have to have 11 uh, for tendrils. So not nothing. Oh boy, we have 12 more minutes than they do. <laughs> it's a solid amount, man. I feel like my impression is that the storm counter tells you when a storm card is available for either player, but that almost feels to give away does that make sense like it feels like you can't do that because you can't give away when when your opponent has something in hand so it's really kind of i don't actually know if that's correct It does, and it is. Well, the storm count is live, so. They don't have two blue, so they can't mine the desire here, interestingly enough. They wheel of fortune for three, for two. Wow. This is fascinating. Uh, you can't cast mocks. They didn't. Um, they didn't Yogmoss well. They passed in flames, which only affects instants and sorceries. <sighs> Boy, I am dead inside. Today, Junior! Okay, they just treasure cruised and exiled their mind's desire. 
There's no black mana. I mean, are they just brainstorming us? Because right now it's 30, so I don't know why they're still going. <laughs> Jesus. Okie dokie. Okie fucking dokie. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop it. Get some help. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> what an absolute... Oh, God. That's what I mean. Like, you're literally making your opponent sit there so you can figure out whether you win or not in 20 minutes. Like, it's so stupid, dude. Like, it was six minutes on the clock versus, like, 19 minutes on the clock. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, you know what? Let's go. Come on. <sighs> oh, we got to play first. Channel Ugin? Do we get to do it? It's round three. I've had a rough cube day. No. No, we don't. Yorion? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, Two lands and nothing to do until turn three. This is kind of slow. I don't think this is better, but it gives us more, like, it gives us more things to do, so. But boom 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 Kitty cat's in here. What's the holdup? Keep. Uh, put Primus back. That guy's too big. Yes, Yorion is their companion, and they have a 60 card deck. That is correct. Which is pretty wild. Ideally, we draw a Devoted Druid. That's what we're looking for here. Okay. Devoted Druid. Second green. Okay. Oh, it was perfect. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Getting 35 playables is very... I agree with you. I, I agree with you. You almost have to play like every card you draft. Boom, boom, boom. So we can actually go Birthing Pod for three. Turn Wreck Sage into Oracle. I kind of like that. Oh, 
Oh, let's attack first, right? Fingers crossed they don't have a response. They did not. Hey, it's Woody. <laughs> so we can actually turn this into an acidic slime or a deranged tournament, which is kind of cool. What the fudge is happening right now? Boom, boom, boom. Land. Land. I mean, next time we get to just hard cast Woodfall Primus. <laughs> Okay, dokie. All right. Seems good. Wow. Man, oh man. I mean, we keep winning, but our draws aren't even that great. Like, I just want the channel Ugin one time. God. It's going to be island island channel Ugin. You ready? Now this is pot racing. <laughs> Getting out the rage from the storm match, buddy. You ain't kidding. Actually, if we draw channel in the next two turns. Oh, they went to six. I think you actually dilute the consistency and power level of draft deck so much by adding an extra 20 cards. All right, channel next turn. We can go portal for four, stone coil for 10. <laughs> and we'll go to, what, thir seven? Well, I, okay, so if I channel Ugin, it takes 30 seconds. Then you're like, okay, I can't beat that in two turns. I lose. And then we're done. If they play Storm, it's like, oh, cool. You're just going to literally do 40 different things and it's going to take 19 minutes. And then we're not done. You know, it's just... Uh, I mean, I do think I do. I, I get your joke, obviously, but I think I do think they're fundamentally different feelings. Hmm. Playing on the radio. They didn't put Yori on in their hand. But they also F6'd, so that's interesting. Here comes bribery for Woodfall Primus. Boom, boom. Marari's Wake? Oh boy. Oh boy, that could be trouble. Make it double. We need a two drop? Or a four drop? Oh, we can actually just play Sower, sack it to kill the Marari's Wake. That's actually not terrible. Opposition's a thing as well. This one. 
We don't have birthing pot in play. <laughs> wow, what a boner. Wow, that was insane. I thought we played birthing pot last turn, not course of portal, and I totally brain froze there. Wow, that's terrible. We're obviously just playing... It was A-line. Wow, no one stopped me there either. That's hilarious. You guys are equally responsible. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have nine mana. Oh boy, what a day. I mean, we saw the line to like pot away sower, get acidic slime, kill Marari's wake, but you know. It was said with such conviction, I bought. What is happening right now? Channel. Dang it. Six mana. <laughs> sure. Man, I should have just landed a uh, opposition last turn. I could have tapped two lands down. Yeah, that would have been very good. We could have stolen their prime speaker, sacked that to get acidic slime. Yeah, we definitely that was that was definitely a game a game losing. Fuck. Eh. Actually, opposition stone coil for two still gives us four guys. We can go tap, 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 which is still pretty good. And then the following turn, we get a hermit, and that could close the game. If they ignore pot, I don't know what they're going to hit. Course of portal? That seems suspect. I guess that's true. Like, Pods isn't always super impressive, like we've discussed. But I think here it is going to give us answers. Well, we'd Serpent for two, right? Like, we get Opposition for four, play our land, Serpent for two. Oh, we're also Potting for one, sure. If they, but but I'm, I'm, that's, I'm under the assumption that Pod is not going to survive. Which it did not. Yeah, this is rough because now they just get Yorion in their hand and blink everything again. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. I mean, I guess they just killed Portal here, which... Oh. Interesting. Hmm. So we can just go opposition, devoted druid, which is even better. One, two, three, four. And now we're just going to hold back. No.
<sighs> this could be fine. Like, it just depends on what they have. We know they have a Yorion in hand. So they're going to be able to cast Yorion, Acidic Slump. Oh, no, it's not going to be fine. Yeah. They just have too much mana. I mean, it still leaves them with five mana is the problem. We can tap three more things. And they always have white, white, or blue, blue. One second, guys. Okay. Hi. Hi. Can I sit here? Yeah. At the cool kids table. Yep, there it is. Uh oh. So they're just killing opposition with acidic slime, obviously, and just tapping down a another land. Cool. Well, we had one good turn with it. Hello, stream folks. I'm just going to hit Carnage and see if they jokingly vote for Carnage. Which they have been this whole time. Oh, they didn't. Oh, and also at three, we just die to Yorion next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Cool. You have Reach? Who has reach? Maybe they're saying you have react. Like you <laughs> have big protect. You know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, actually. Me too. Yeah, that checks out. I <laughs> <laughs> kind of want to just bring in nature's claim, even though I don't. I just want to draw channel Ugin one time. I don't think it's that much to ask, but I can't do it, so. Mike could get gastric, yeah. And also, he grew his hair out. And uh, he's a totally different human being now. What did you say here? I got in a fight. Oh, God. <laughs> How long ago? Right there. That guy wouldn't leave me alone. And so I responded, but I should not have responded. I should have just blocked him. I shouldn't have gone into this profession for money. What was I thinking? Okay, we're halfway there. <sighs> what are you doing? Do you got a combo? I wasn't looking at your deck. Can I see the screenshot of it? Did you block that person? No. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I don't think you necessarily. I don't think they're a new. I just. 
I just hate him. <laughs> like, it's one thing if it's a friend or like, <laughs> you at least pretend to follow me and like, like my content, but you don't. So yeah, someone asked Katie for veterinary advice who doesn't follow her, who she doesn't know. And then apparently when she didn't respond, they just kept nagging. And like, that's not cool. I'm just gonna play Ballista for two. Cause... And then when I went to answer him, he said, wow, you really like animals. And then he said, maybe I should go into a profession that's not just about money. <laughs> and I was like, do you wanna see my pay stub? <laughs> Do you think he does? I should send it to him. No, you shouldn't. You should oh, okay. really not engage any further. And especially not send personal or private information to a stranger on the internet. Hey, if I shoot the reclamation sage with the ability on the stack, does the effect go away? Are you asking me? I mean, you can answer even if I wasn't, right? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, I'm just here doing my venom we impression. Have, we have two eight drops here, so that's cool. Where's that channel that we were ordering? But we have five mana. That's almost eight mana. Mm. No. Okay, ramming up excavator oh yes keep the lands coming oh, God. now we have six mana that's oh, yeah. almost eight mana channel off the top i'll play ugin and woodfall primus you guys will see it all oh i can't i don't know enough green they're just not doing anything oh boy exactly it's like people asking you for accounting advice but they don't want to pay you to do your work Like, I feel like the most in-depth question I would ever ask somebody about accounting would be like, do I need to get an accountant at this point? Yes or no. And then I, I go do that and I hire somebody to do that Right, job. like I asked, I asked Stephen Briggs for tax information for like business business reasons. But like if he said, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer not to, I'd be like, okay, I totally understand. Yeah. Right, but like. Yeah, like he, he gave me like a free consult thing just to go over my stuff and like see where I was at. And then he was like, okay, here's my rates if you want to go forward with, like, advice on what to do. And, yeah. like, and I was like, thank you. That's how it works. Just, like, if somebody's like, should I take my animal to the vet for this? I'm like, yeah, you should. I don't mind telling you that. But when you're like, what does my dog have if he's doing this, this, and this? And what should I feed him? And, like, I'm not going to give you a whole console. What the f Get out of here. Why would you reveal that during my turn where you can literally try and almost play something on your own turn? Like, that's so weird. Well, it's... It's, it's Kindle Chatterer. <laughs> I guess that's true. They're probably not super familiar with Magic the Gathering, really. It's just very weird. Like, just do it on your turn. You got four mana. You can play something. I also don't know why they don't put this in their hand when they have so many free turns to do so. Oh, you got responses. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Okay. And it's also another thing if somebody asks a question and then you're like, oh, I can't give you that information. And they're like, oh, okay. And they just didn't know. But that is not what happened. You can't just attack a person's character because you don't like the answer that they gave you. Whatever, money grubber. I know. I'm the most money grubbing bee snatch there ever was. That's why I like McDonald's. It's so cheap that I get to have so much more money left over at the end of it. I know. Sometimes I watch you pull a $20 bill out of your wallet and you'll buy McDonald's with it and then with whatever's left... You kind of just rub it all over your face. Yeah. It's really weird, but you know what? It I'm makes like, you happy. oh, money. Do they just hard cast treasure crews? Okay, they're dead, right? There's no way they, they're not dead, right? They're not having a good time. 
Having a good time. Having a good time. <gasps> you don't even need to draw those other two mana now. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine with a Garuki. Guys, I'm going to do it because, god damn it, we're here to do it. That's what we're here for. We're here for Chanel number... What if they spell Pierce? Then I'll pay. You. They're going to daze me? I'll pay no, that too. They... No, it's not. got Force of Will? In your 60 card deck? Isn't Spell Pierce the one... Is that the one they have to pay to, or is that the counter non-target non creature spell? Sorry. I love them. I love them so much. Oh, dearly with all my heart. You must really love animals. You know, no, I really love money. <laughs> he don't even know what he's barking at 90% of the time. Was he, a squirrel? He thinks there's a perceived there is a perceived threat somewhere on the household perimeter. Look at this guy though. Has this guy said hello to stream? No, Wallace Ray has not done anything for the stream. I'm gonna get rid of their other island. Oh god, he doesn't like it. Oh, he doesn't like oh, it. Oh, they're gonna pay. Okay. Okay, I'm a good combat. Do it. I dare you. It's happening right now. You haven't done it yet. I'm, I clicked. I'm waiting for my opponent who has priority. Okay, do I need to explain priority to you? <laughs> I'm just a simple woman. <laughs> I do not understand the ways of Magic the Gathering. Maybe Such your boyfriend complex. should teach you how to play Magic. <laughs> I've heard my boyfriend has won some F and M's or something. So, what's F and M? Play this. That must have been my other boyfriend. This fat biscuit boy. Excuse me. Uh. What'd you say? <laughs> okay, your your turn. Don't have fractured identity. No fractured identity. Oh God, it's gonna happen. It's the worst day of my life. Oh, it's gonna happen. I know it's happening. I know it's gonna happen. They have fractured identity in their deck? I don't know. Have you seen it? Oh, we win the game and we drove you. Look, they didn't even fracture your identity once. It's true. They didn't once. Queen? Do you actually, do you know what that card does? Yeah, isn't that the triple white slash green and two? Oh, I'm thinking of fracturing gust. <laughs> Triple is that what it's called? Fracturing green gust? And two. Oh, okay. So, yes, that is fracturing gust. Gust. Okay, no, I don't know what fracturing is. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I don't even think I care about that. I don't have a single artifact or an enchantment. Oh. Um, uh, see, you guys, this is my girl's friend. <laughs> oh my god, shut up. Okay, so this is fracture identity. Oh god, this is small. I'm making it bigger. Okay, oh, thank Jesus, god. It doesn't get bigger. Oh god, just drag it over here on the screen. All right, here you go. Oh. Yeah, that would have been bad for you. It's very good. They just do it on Ugin and then they kill us. But they didn't do that. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on manatraders.com. 15% off the first three months of any subscription. I don't know what he's here. Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. MeUndies used to give us promo codes but doesn't anymore. <laughs> Why? I missed that. That was like two years ago. What? I'm still remembering. I'll see you guys. Um, he, oh, wait, I'm not done. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You didn't Go do ahead. your full outro. You're right, I'm sorry. Um, he writes articles <laughs> that can be found every week. I wasn't really listening to what the first thing okay. was that you no, said. Okay, fine. Don't um, worry about it. On Cool Stuff Inc. Or you can get a subscription to Mana Traders with 5% off with 15. the promo. 15% <laughs> off with the promo code. Well, I thought it was like Frank 5, wasn't it? No, that's cool stuff. Oh. Um... <laughs> What is, she's, rat clearly, train? she's clearly rat the marketing train? manager of the stream. Is it called Rat Train? Nord, MeUndies, MySpace, etc. Yes, the promo code is Rat Train, but you still got to use the link down below in the description. I don't know where that's at. Do those things. We'll see you next time. Bye.